Son Jaden Johnson, the user, and he just got a beer teal a little while ago. Got it in the boat. So we're gonna go up to the land and uh, butcher it, gut it, and uh, probably give out some parts to the people that hit it. I'm uh, gonna split it down the middle so we can uh, start gutting it and uh, give out the parts. So we give away the parts, then we bring this home and we separate the, uh, for the skin and the fat. The skin we usually use to uh, dry and for Eskimo dance. First dance, first time dancers, they usually sit on it for the men. And if it's a woman, a uh, girl or lady, they'll stand on it. We've got a good sized bearded seal here and uh, breaking it down, we've got a few more behind us and just a little bit of daylight left. So we're in the kitchen. Uh, we're in beautiful Alakanak, uh, and we're going to be making a seal pozole. So Marilyn is going to be helping us out. Pozole is traditionally a very is a Mexican dish, um, celebratory. Uh, so we've got the spice, the paprika, and chili powder, and hominy, which is a big kernel of corn. And we're going to go ahead and start with oil and the agu. And we're basically rendering out the, the seal. Kind of just like rendering out a little bit of bacon before you're, you're cooking something. We've got a good little render on the, on the seal. So we're gonna go ahead and add the, add the meat. Got to tip the oil away from you. Go ahead and move it around. Got a good little sear on there. And uh, I'm just gonna season a little bit of salt and pepper. Get a little bit of color and flavor on there. And then the next step, we've got the uh, paprika and chili powder. Basically add that right in and bloom it. And what that means when I say bloom it, is that these in their in their raw form, in their true form when they're grown, they're basically like bell peppers, is what a paprika is, uh, pimento, and uh, chili powder. So when you add it to the liquid, it actually starts absorbing the oil and the moisture from the pan, and kind of coats everything, it starts blooming, and it's almost like a thickening agent. And uh, what orange juice does, it's gonna provide a little bit of sweetness to the dish, and also the citric acid is kind of balance out that meat. The meat is very, very rich. So we've got a good little boil going on here. Covered all the seal meat. 30 to 45 minutes later, we brought it up to a boil and dropped it down to a simmer. And once that happens, that's when you go ahead and add these flavors here. You've got some canned vegetables in there, potatoes, carrots. And this is sort of what we're looking at. We've got a beautiful, rich dish. A lot of flavor in there. And that's the uh, seal pozole.